Okay, another media type, this time Telegram. Telegram is very similar to Slack. It's good for push messaging, so we'll get instant alerts. We also need to create a bot, add it to a group, and then we can make a test by sending a message to the group to see if it works. So install Telegram. If you install it on PC first, it will be easier, and then you can install it on your mobile phone. So I have Telegram running on my PC, and I need to create a new bot. So you need to find a user called at bot father like that use the verified at bot father because there are several fakes so make sure it's that one okay press start down the bottom now press new bot there okay so we're creating a new bot we need to give it a name so i'm going to say sb code zabbix bot so name it anything you like okay good now let's choose a username i'm going to use the same username it needs to end in the word bot like that capital b o t or underscore bot very good. That is created. And that's the token that I'm going to need for my Telegram media type in Zabbix. So copy that. Now go into Zabbix. Administration media types down the bottom. There is Telegram. So go into that. And you put your token into this section here. Now my token will be different than yours. And I'll change that token after I finish this video. So that token will no longer work if you tried it. Okay. Enabled. And then update. Okay, there it is. Telegram webhook enabled. Now we can test it. Okay, leave everything default, but we need to send it to something. We need a chat ID. So what we do is create a group and add our bot to it, and then we can get that chat ID. Okay, so next thing to do, it's very important, is to start the bot. Because even though the bot exists, we haven't started it yet, so we need to find it. So get the name of your bot, put it into the search tool just there, and there it is there. Click it, and down the bottom, it says start. So that's very important. Do the start step now. That means we can start using the bot. Okay, so we have a bot, and the bot is started. We now need to create a group. In case that hamburger menu there, click that. New group. Call it anything you like. I'm going to call it Zabbix Alerts. Next. And I'm going to add my bot to it. And there it is. Create. Okay. So now just press that X there. So you remove all the text from the search tool. Okay. So we have a group called Zabbix Alerts. And I have a bot called SB Code Zabbix Bot. Now, if we look at the Zabbix Alerts group and just click it up there, we can see there are two members, me and my bot. So... To get the chat ID, we can use an API call. Okay, so on my documentation here, we've got this URL, this get updates URL. Paste that into a notepad. And this XXXYYY, we need to replace that with our bot token. And if you remember, that was it there. So replace that. But that's the XXX bit, and that's the YYY bit. So let's put that into a browser and see what we get. And press enter. Okay, it's not showing any information yet. What we can do is send the group a message so with the group selected there down the bottom write a message write anything test for example press enter okay now we try that url again so refresh okay so it's not showing anything okay so it's a bit unpredictable when this happens or not next thing you can try is go back into the group remove your bot okay remove and add the bot again okay sp code so big spot okay it's my bot and add okay so it's been taken away and added back again okay try the url again there we go now we've got a lot of data sometimes it's a little bit slow okay we're looking for a section that says the chat id there are a lot of chat ids in here usually the group chat id is a negative number and that's it there and i can also verify that further in the message here that it says chat id negative number idle zabbix alerts that is the id i'm looking for there are several ids in there and you can try them out but what you want is the group chat id and that's usually the negative number so copy that and that's the alert to we're sending to a group id and it's a negative number for the group test Okay, so I just got an alert in my Telegram client there. Just the default alert subject and alert message. I also got it on my mobile phone. I have Telegram installed on my mobile phone. That's the message just there. So that works. Okay, so cancel that. Now to set that up as a media type in my user. So administration users, admin, media, add, let's find Telegram, then to the group ID. And once again, I only want them when they're disasters. Add. Okay, just update so it binds. Just double check that. Media. Okay, there are three media types. You don't have to have three media types. And you also have the option to get a different kind of severity alert in a different media type if you want. You can create as many of those as you like. Anyway, another thing about this group ID, if you're still finding it hard to get that number, on my documentation here, I have a little tool that you can use. 
get Telegram chat ID. If you paste your bot token into there and press get chat ID, it should tell you automatically. So what that's doing is calling the get updates API call, going through the response until it finds a node called chat, which is a type of group, and then it gets the ID, which is just that. There. Excellent. Anyway, let's test that alert works. So monitoring problems. I'm going to turn off the Zabbix agent on my desktop. Okay, I'm in services and task manager. Zabbix agent stop. Okay, and now I'll just wait for the alert in Zabbix. Okay, and there is my alert in Telegram. It's also in Zabbix there. I'm also getting it on my mobile phone. Okay. Let's have a look at the actions here. Okay, there is Slack, Telegram, and the email being sent. Let's look at it in Telegram. Okay, so problem, no data for 120 seconds. Start time, speak code desktop. Okay, let's resolve the issue. Okay, start, it's running. Okay, and after some time, that should auto resolve. Okay, and there we go. That's the resolution alert there. It's also resolved on Zabbix. Okay, so you may prefer to use Telegram or you may like Telegram and stack an email like I've got. It's up to you. At least you're getting messages from the system when something happens. Okay, so to be sure, create yourself a bot using Botfather. You need to start your bot. So my bot has been started. You need to create a group and make sure your bot and your own user are part of the group. You need to get the group ID. Sometimes you need to take the bot away from the group and add it again so you get the group's chat ID in the URL there, the get updates URL. Make sure your test works in Zabbix. And then you can install Telegram on your mobile phone and you'll get all the alerts in Telegram as well. Excellent.